Midjourney has some amazing new functions. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? So Nichi 5 is out on Midjourney. It's very easy to use. Write your prompt as normal. At the end of the prompt, write minus minus Nichi space 5. Looking at the announcement, you can see Nichi can be set up in the settings so that it's used automatically or you type minus minus Nichi 5 at the end of your prompt. Another thing you can use with the Nichi 5 model is the stylize command, which decides how much artistic impact is applied to the image that is rendered. So this goes from a value of 0 to 1000. The normal value or the default value is stylize 100. I've also also seen people use minus minus Q for quality or minus minus chaos with Nichi 5. And as you can see here, this is mostly for anime style. People have already created really awesome works. I'm very impressed often by the hands that it's creating, by the atmosphere overall in these images. And people have done some funny and very cool stuff. I love the colors, the tones, the expressions, the composition. All of that is very cool. You can see also when we zoom in here, some very nice detail. Love this one with the burger master. So this is really cool. The next one here is a cat in a night scene. Very cool also, again, from the scenery and the color. Also these small details like the highlight around the cat so you can see the cat better in the night scene is a really nice touch. Here we have another scene. Again, the colors are beautiful. A lot of this reminds of the great anime films out there. So this is really very nice. Here we have another scene. This one is interesting from the perspective. And even though this is a complex perspective to do, the result is pretty cool, not just from the anatomy and the perspective in there, but also how her garment, how her clothing is floating to the air and still keeping with the perspective very impressive. Here I did some testing for myself. Now this is not an anime style, it's more of a painting style, but still that worked out really well. Another one is these scenes that I have showed you before. Now I have to say the prompting has to be a little bit different because here I found that you need to be more literal with your description. All these terms, high detail, high contrast, intricate, all these kind of long rows of terms. So you get better results when the prompt is shorter, more to the point actually describing the scene you want to have. Another thing that Nichi 5 is really good at are these isometric scenes. Really like them. The perspective is really cool and often it adds really nice details to that. And one thing I found very surprising with Nichi 5 is the quality of face expression. So here we have an expression sheet. And when we look at these expressions, you can actually feel the emotion that is going on in that picture, but also the image and the face is consistent for example when you look at the hair but also for the perspective when you look at the right side the head is raised slightly so we see the underside of the chin while in the middle image the head is lowered it's bent towards us so the chin is just a short line and then I immediately the mouth is starting there. The next thing you should look into is the new describe function. The way this works is down here, you write slash describe, select describe. You get this little box here. You want to click on that and then upload an image that you want to use. Now you have to hit enter and wait for a short while. Here we have the prompt suggestion. And in this case, it even figured out that this is about the division video game. Now you can see up here that the prompts have numbers from one to four and below the image, you find these numbers again. When you click on them, this will open up a window that will ask you about the prompt. Now, one thing that stood out to me here is that it does not suggest any version of Midjourney to be used with that. And I haven't seen in any case that it suggests any kind about style or chaos or any other kind of adjustment other than the ratio. So in most cases, you want to type in here, for example, minus minus V5 or V4, whatever you want to use with that, and then click on submit to have this rendered. Now, this is really cool because first of all, 
these prompts describe a lot of things that you might not even know yourself are in the image. For example, here for that flower, I didn't know it's a hibiscus flower, but Midjourney figured that out. It does really interesting descriptions. Sometimes they're not really on point, but at the other hand, I think this is a great learning opportunity because often there are words and phrases in these prompts that I wouldn't have used, but still they give amazing results. So you can learn a lot about prompting from these. So here you can see a resulting image that Midjourney has created and next to it the source image that I have uploaded. Here we have another example and I'm actually surprised how similar they are even though this is not using the image input it is using text based on the clip based on the text it has created from the image but the image itself is not used as a source. Next, I uploaded a character design for the video game Division 2. Now, it is really interesting that in these prompts, it figured out two times that this is about the Division 2 and that is a character design. And when looking at the results, you can actually see that the prompts lead to some really interesting, nice results. Next, I have here another scene, a concept art for Division 2. And again, even without the text in here about Division 2, this did understand that this is a Division 2. Now, again, it has in here very interesting terminologies on how to describe the scene. For example, it says romanticized cityscape. Or down here, it says in the style of light bronze and gray. I would never have thought about using colors in combination with in the style of. Also, you will find a lot of core or punk terms in here. For example, here it says gore core. Down here it says mana punk. And here it says rustic core. I have not heard of any of those, but they give amazing results. Up here, you can also see the term eerily realistic. Again, something I would have never used as a description. But now when we look at the results that we are getting from these prompts, they're actually very impressive and among some of the best concept art scenes that I've seen so far from Midjourney. These images here are in a different style that are more in the style of concept art. Again, very impressive. I like how the scenery, the atmosphere, and even the characters and how they walk and interact act in the scene are coming together. Absolutely let me know in the comments what you think. Share your images in my Facebook group, in my Discord. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.